coming. Um, sorry, ma, are you ready to leave now? Not just yet. I have a press conference with the governor. But you can put this in the car. Excellency. Thank you. What is wrong with you? Ma, it's my tooth. It's been paining me since yesterday. Mm. Okay. Open your mouth. Hmm? Open your mouth, my friend. With all due respect, sir, you just signed away the future of our children to the Chinese. That's an exaggeration, Henry. And you know it. It looks like you have an infected tooth. Wait. We've explored all the alternatives. I had no choice. But um, that's the way of politics. Hello? Dad? Wait, Sam. No, no, I have a few minutes. Yes, I'll be at the press conference as well. Oh. Yes, you can watch it in my office. Okay, great. I I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye. They won't stop until they control everything, Your Excellency. You surprise me, Henry. Do you know the amount of money at stake here? I have an idea. No, you don't. You are going to my practice first thing in the morning. Tell Dr. Pedro I sent you. But my... No about Sam. Hello, David. I have great plans for this state. But in politics, you must learn to pick your battles. Yes, sir. Sorry to bother you, ma'am, but they're going in. I'm on my way. Sorry about that, David. You have reconsidered the impact of this deal on the local economy, on our jobs, on the environment, and on the economic welfare of this state. But uh, you are forgetting just one minor detail. What's that? When Friday Bello takes over this office after my term, he will simply override my decisions and impose his will on the state anyway. And that is why a man like Freddy Bello should not be governor of the state. That's the party's decision. And we all have to answer to the party. Let's not keep the press waiting. I'm going to be home later than I thought. Your Excellency. I'll see you soon. I love you too. Okay, bye. Good evening, Angela. Uh, Your Excellency. I'm sorry to have kept you long after your normal working hours. I didn't realize politicians had normal working hours, Your Excellency. Ah, there. You admit it. You're one of us after all. I'm just joking, Angela. Relax. So, let's go make history. Sir, this is probably not the best time to bring this up, but it's about the state visit. Angela, let your office talk to my office about these matters. You are the deputy governor. Sir, my office has been trying to schedule a meeting with you for almost three months. Henry, can you please take care of that? Yes, sir. And next time, please make sure we don't keep the deputy governor waiting for so long. Absolutely, sir. Any other thing? No, thank you, sir. My office will confirm the details with the ambassador. Good. Thanks, man. Hi. Okay, now, I'll see you. Yeah, see you. Uh huh. The prodigal returns. Evening, Dad. Evening, Toju. You're late. took longer than we thought and um parking parking was a nightmare <laughs>
Good evening, everyone. Good evening, yes. Since the inception of this administration, we have been committed not only to the growth and stability of our great state, Savannah, but crucially to its security as well. The drastic reduction of crime in the state is a clear evidence of this. Where are you going? To get something to eat. You're coming from the cinema, I told you. Popcorn isn't food, Dad. Is Mom back? She's on her way. <laughs> Flooding is now a thing of the past. Thank you. And to cap it off, with the introduction of the new fleet of modern air-conditioned buses, the nightmare that was once public transportation has become a dream forgotten. Particularly in the face of sacrifices that we have had to make to achieve the greatness that our state deserves. Your Excellency, there's been a lot of talk about investment uh, in infrastructure. Make, 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 make. Be careful. Do you think that the administration has invested enough in people? I think the governor has been quite clear about the challenges. Oh, so you admit that there are significant challenges with this area? No, that is not what I'm saying. No, that will do for now. Your Excellency, you have a scheduled meeting. Ah, oh, Henry, I wanted to clarify something. Okay, but first, you have to be careful around the press. It's unwise to speak without a prepared script. I understand, but she asked a simple question. Which, with all due respect, we'll read into most newspaper as they are policy tension between investment in people and investment in things. Fine, I'll be careful. Thank you. Henry, this urgent matter of state, it wouldn't happen to be the wake keeping of a certain esteemed member of the party in a Jesse state. How did you hear about that? Henry, I'm the deputy governor. Of course, what I meant was... And I should join the governor in paying my respects. Oh, there's no need. As a matter of fact, the governor has urgent matters for you to attend to right here. Oh, this is news to me. The governor's office will communicate that with you shortly. Good night, Your Excellency. Good night. I'm serious. Come on, Dad. How can you hold a serious conversation with someone who falls asleep in the middle of his own sentence? It takes great skill, I admit, but one you have to acquire. I will try. Amongst <laughs> other things. <laughs> I will try. <sighs> I won't keep you long. My door is always open, Dad. You know that. I know, I know. And it's good to see you fine-tuning the delicate act of uh, diplomacy. I'm learning from the best. <laughs> good, good. Um, so, how are things going? Any problems? Hmm. It's a steep learning curve, Dad. And to be honest with you, half the time I'm not sure I know what I'm doing. Politics is a lifetime study, Angela. But don't worry, you'll be fine. How about Peter? He treated you right. Mm. For an African politician and a man, yes, he's okay. I just have to remember that I'm not his PA. <laughs> Don't worry about Peter. He's a very experienced politician and you can learn a lot from him. By the way, have you been involved in any dealings with the Chinese? The Chinese? Are you joking? No. So, you haven't signed anything? I'm a glorified pen pusher, Dad. Is something wrong? Oh, no, no. I'm just a dad looking out for his daughter. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, how are your best friends, Joyce and Linda? They're, they're, they're fine, I guess. We just don't have as much time to hang out as we'd like. Mm. You should bring them to the house one of these days for lunch. I'm sure your mother would love the company. I'm proud of you, Angela. Thank you, Dad.
Good evening, Professor Chelo. Ah, Sam. Yes, sir. You just love calling me professor, don't you? Yes, sir. I, I do, sir. <laughs> evening, darling. Sorry I'm late. No, don't worry about it. Mm. All right. Um, good night, ma'am. Good night. Good night. First thing tomorrow, Sam. Dentist. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I saw you on TV tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> so now, tell me, is there really a tension between spending on infrastructure and spending on people? <gasps> she took that totally out of context. <laughs> Peter's going to kill me. And that's all they'll remember about his speech. Uh, I thought it was cute, though. Mm. <laughs> Watching you dangle on the end of a reporter's <laughs> hook like that. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, it's all right. Laugh it up. Get it out of your system. You do realize that with one phone call, I can make you disappear. Oh, you care? Mm -hmm. mm. And with one click of the button, mm. your little performance will be trending on YouTube. Mm. Mm. You're a mean man. <laughs> Which is why you married me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Come back here and greet me, silly boy. <laughs> Hi, Mom. How are you? I'm okay. Ah! Dad, she just took my chicken. Mm -hmm. Dad! Look, son, politically, I'm caught between you and this beautiful woman mm -hmm. here. Mm? Now you tell me, what side do you think my bread is bothered on? Ah, okay. No mercy now. From now on, no mercy. No mercy, <laughs> yeah? No mercy. <laughs> you steal his chicken, I, get, I pay the price. <laughs> Have you eaten? Yes, um, Patrick made uh, Chinese. Uh, you should eat. First, I'm going to take a shower. After, we'll see. Okay. And then, can tell me about your day. Thank you, Patrick. Start is show. We're drinking coffee before bed. It interferes with your sleep cycle. Studies also show that Drinking red wine interferes with the male libido. <laughs> Too <Touché>. sick. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. You're welcome, ma'am. Do you need anything else? No, I'm okay. David? No, thank you, Patrick. Uh, as usual, dinner was delicious. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes. Good night. Good, Good night. night, Patrick. So how's the paper coming? Slowly. It's a good mm. thing the conference is not for another few months. Yes. Have you found someone to take your classes? I have. But the dinner faculty is really difficult. Oh. Should I send Sam to have a few words? <gasps> Could you please tell him to break <laughs> only the useful bones? <laughs> Which one is useful ones? <laughs> David, you never cease to amaze me. Uh, anyway, I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'll join you in a bit. Don't be long. I really think we should test the results of that study on red wine. What are we waiting <laughs> for? <laughs> Wait. Mm -hmm. The academics. Mm -hmm. I'm very fanatical about testing results. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't answer it. It's the work phone. Oh. Sorry, David, I've got to take this. Hello? What? When? Which hospital? Okay, 
I'll be right there. What's wrong, Angela? It's the governor. There's been a terrible accident. This was not our deal, Femi. So because you couldn't reach me, you went ahead and published without an official statement? What rubbish is that? Well, I hope your exclusive was worth it, because you just bit the finger that fed you. Goodbye! Hey, George. Is, it, is, is this serious? Give me your excellency. Dad! Hey, <laughs> Chief. What happened? An oncoming truck lost control and just slammed into our convoy. What? Excuse me. Doctor, how is he? His condition is serious. But stable. The next few hours are crucial. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. At least he's stable. Yes. Yeah. Excuse me, Your Excellency. We'll keep you abreast of any new developments. Thank you. Personnel here are the best in the state. I am not so no, I dare say anywhere in the world. Besides, think about the potential backlash. Gentlemen, I think we should wait till the morning before we make any final decisions. If he doesn't improve, we'll fly him out. We'll be here again in the morning. Very well, sir. And again, Henry, no one is allowed to see him without our consent. And make sure no one gets out about his location or condition. What about the deputy governor? What about her? Why would she even want to see him? Does she think she is his uh, second in command? Uh, until our girl returns, she's the one in charge. <sighs> Peter, you better return quickly to work before this rank amateur never ruins things. I'm sorry, Tabu. I try to. First with the four hours are usually critical. Well, you told me you have a better picture by this morning. We've done all kinds of tests, including an MRI. Everything seems fine. Even with an injury to the head, there's limited cranial damage. What is the bottom line, Doctor? We'll know more by this evening. If he makes it. If he makes it? I mean, when he makes it, right? Peter? Is he going to be all right? Well, he's going to be fine, madame. Please, don't worry. He has to pull through this, Henry. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Whatever it takes, we have to help him. Do it, sir. Your Excellency. I beg, you're not serious. <laughs> <laughs> So, is it true about yoga? Yes, unfortunately. Come and sit. I'll tell you. So, tell us now, what happened? They were on their way to Ajasi through Bandar. 
when a truck lost control and hit their convoy. That road is fast becoming notorious for claiming innocent lives. So, if he doesn't get better by the end of the day, that makes you the acting governor. That's true. Uh-huh. What? Goodness! Do you know what that I means? I hadn't thought about it. It means I'll be the best friend to the first female acting governor of the state. Linda, get with the program. Are you kidding? My dear, as I was saying. Oh, my hey, Joyce. Joyce, we gotta go. Oh, Linda, stop. Go where? Yeah, don't Thank you me. very much. You're welcome. Where are we going? What to do our hair and nails, Linda? Oh, like yes. Me. But still, it's Angela. You don't understand. She's not a partner yet. Yeah, but Angela. Oh. Oh, Andrew. ah, ladies, <laughs> ah, Linda, Joyce, you owe me I, that pepper soup I, milk. I, I know. Uh -huh. Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Boy. Dad. Yes. It's all over the news. Oh, come on. Yes, it is. But nothing is going to happen to the governor. Hi. Good afternoon, Prof. Yes, I say he's as strong as an ox. Dad, that's not what's been circulating on Twitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Carl, how are you? I'm fine. Sorry about the governor. Yes, me too. So, what brings you home, young lady? What? You mean I can't come and see my own family again? <laughs> Liar. You're just curious. <laughs> okay, I admit. But you're trending, Mom. What does that even mean? It means there are a lot of people talking about you right now, Mrs. L. Oh, yes, there are. The poor guy is not even dead yet. You already have two disciples washing your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a shame about the accident. But just think about it. My mom could be governor of Savannah State. I don't think so. Besides, Peter Akala is a fighter. I'm sure he'll recover. Yes. But if he doesn't... We'll cross that bridge if we come to it. Okay. Carl, so how's your father? He's fine. He's probably still with the governor. Or maybe at the emergency exco meeting. What? Aren't you supposed to be in that meeting? I'm sure it's a, it's a last minute thing. I'll just, I'll check my messages. Can you believe it? My phone is dead. That's probably the reason. I'll just charge my phone and I'll call the office. Very well. going back to uni not tonight if he uh, maybe I should just go. wait mom I have to go back you can go first thing in the morning what's the rush dad listen I'm with your mom on this one unless you have a compelling reason why you have to go back tonight I'm contesting for a department social secretary and I have a meeting with the students tonight but was this the only time you guys could meet mom everyone knows politicians meet at night huh. That is nonsense. I'm a politician and all of my meetings happen during the day. If he doesn't get better by tomorrow morning, I will have him flown out to Switzerland. Yes, ma'am. I thought you were keeping this away from the press. ITV ran an exclusive about it earlier this evening. I am aware, ma'am, and we're tracing the leak as we speak. We think it might be one of the hospital staff. So. But no more leaks. Yes, ma'am. Harry, I will hold you personally responsible. Restrict visitation to only those who absolutely must see him. As you wish, ma'am. Peter is in a coma. Yes. It's not like he's going to be stuck to anyone. Now, uh, listen. You guys drive carefully, okay? Thanks, Dad. You're the best. You too, Mom. Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. You're spoiling her, David. 
Hey. Lose this battle, win the war. Huh? Hey. Come on. Mm. <laughs> mm? <laughs> Good morning, Prof. Oh, hello, Summer. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. How's your tooth? Oh, it's better, Ma. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. Hello, Lara. Goodbye, bro. Yes, have a fine day, Summer. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. I'll call you later, Dana. Hmm? <laughs> Mom, no breakfast. I have to run. I have a very early start. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. So, uh, told you, what's your plan for the rest of the day? Um, well, I have a lecture in the afternoon. And then I'll pop into Kunle's. This is the levels, man. Not why I, you have to put in the time. But I am, Dad. Okay. Mm, Julius says that he'll be in at about, uh, 10 this morning. Thank you. Oh, tell him to come in the afternoon. Hmm. I need to check up on Peter. How is he? Any change? Not so far. This is not a good time for an absentee governor. Besides, it puts undue pressure on Angela. She can handle it. Just like me, she can handle anything. Mm. So, she's a daughter now, Abby. When she's stubborn, she's not. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> the stubbornness she gets from you. So, are you still thinking about mass communications? Yes. Why? No, nothing. Just checking. Dad. I told you that. Mascom is only the fourth course you've mentioned in the last four months. But at least I've been consistent with this one now. But seriously, where do you see your future? Hmm. Sounds like a trick question. No, no, it isn't. And it will not be used against me in the Ocello Court of Justice. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay. Well, if I had my way, Meaning you and mom not breathing down my neck. Mm. Um, I would like to be a music producer. Interesting. And if she becomes governor after Peter, whose daughter would she be then? Our daughter. <laughs> then she will get the political acumen from you and my poise, elegance and uh, people skills. You're right about the poison, elegance, but people's skills. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and that's something you can study in the university too, yeah? Of course. Yeah. But it's also something you are born with mm. and you just need to develop it. You're right. Oh, okay. I see. So you need a demonstration to convince you, I mean. Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Ah, you're missing out, Dado. You need to go with the flow. Leave the music. Hey, I'll have you know that I played in the university band in my days. What? Oh, yes. I did some magic with those drumsticks. No. <laughs> you know. Catch, 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 catch. Ah, oh. Ah, man, man. But, uh, oh, those were the days. So why did you stop? The band, I mean. Oh, uh, I saw that I was doing uh, a lot of off-campus gigs. Uh, I saw it was beginning to affect my grades. Mm. Yeah. You ever imagine what it would have been like if you hadn't stopped? Oh, no. 
I think I'm better off as a political science professor and a husband and a father. Um, yeah, you, I, I even prefer you this way than as an Asian rock star. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Good morning, ma'am. Morning. Sorry about the inconvenience, but you'll be able to see him soon. Thank you. So what are they saying? Nothing. Something's going on, David, but I don't know what. Do you think I'm being paranoid? Well, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean that they're not out to get you. David, please. I'm sorry. I meant that as a joke. I hope so. Well, just relax. Hmm? Let's pray that uh, Peter recovers and life returns to normal. Go see the governor now. Diabetes is complicating his treatment. It's causing his brain to swell. Are you going to operate to reduce the swelling? Yes, but the procedure is complicated and we need the right equipment. Another reason why we should shore up the health sector. His Excellency already signed all the necessary documents. Bar one. He was going to do that after the trip to Ajase. His Excellency had his reasons for wanting the amendment to the draft document. There was nothing wrong with that document. An amendment does not nullify the original agreement. With all due respect, I think we should wait for the governor to make his final decision on this matter. Fine. How are things in your side? We're doing the best we can. But my commission, I mean my ministry... You have more than enough, Sherry. Let the serious ministries complain about insufficient allocation. I beg your pardon. Commissioner Friday, Baylor. What are you implying? That my ministry? Ministry of Women Affairs is not a serious ministry? Of course it is. I mean, what will meal times and night times be without you women, eh? <laughs> Thank you. Lola, please call the commissioner's assistant to let him know I'm on my way to see him. I don't think he'll be in his office. He's still at the meeting. What meeting? Okay, what do you not understand? It is my ministry. I make the financial decisions. We all know that Friday. But does it give you the right to put all of us on ransom? Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. His Excellency's absence should not provoke discord. What exactly is going on here? Hmm? Just an emergency meeting, actually. A meeting of friends or an exco meeting? Because you cannot have an exco meeting without me. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. An oversight, I assure you. Please, why don't you join us? Hey, Boo. 
Hey. How was your lecture? Uh, it was quite interesting. Considering I didn't understand half of what she was saying. Carl, that is because you don't go to half as many lectures as you should. And that's about to change. Promise? Yeah. <laughs> we were just discussing about the continuation of the drainage system in the northern part of the state. The work stopped because the contractors wanted their second trench of payments to continue the work. Mr. Bello. It is not a priority, but I'll see what we can do. But no promises. Relax, okay. The bottom line is that we must keep this ship afloat until His Excellency returns. What's next? Yes, we have this situation with the Chinese. And what exactly is this Chinese situation? Just a mining issue. Are we talking about the iron ore in Alessia? Yes, Your Excellency. When did we agree to go with them? About three days ago. There was a meeting. Your Excellency, why don't I send you a comprehensive brief later, okay? Carl, Mom is going to become acting governor until the governor recovers. Isn't that cool? We're going to be like the coolest couple. The governor's daughter and the commissioner's son. I believe some explanations are in order, Henry. The decision was made at a meeting a few days ago. I was not at that meeting. No, you were not. And why not? Look, can we just forget about this and move on? No, we cannot. I need to know. No, in fact, I need to understand why a cabinet meeting would take place without me. Because those meetings take place in the early hours of the morning when you'll be cuddled up in bed with your husband. Go home, Angela. Go home to your loving husband and children and leave the real politicking to us. for you to say, sir. You are not the one who has to suffer the indignity of having to report to that small girl. It's all temporary, Friday. And a day or two, Peter will be back in office and it will all end. What if he doesn't return? Friday. Look, I'm sorry, but we have to look at all possibilities. What if Peter dies? What if Henry decides to seize power? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous, Friday. This is a democracy, not a military junta. Oh, really, sir? With Henry's closeness to the First Lady and the precedence we have with such issues, don't you think that they could buy time and make damaging decisions? Hmm. Angela Ocello. She will become governor if anything happens to Peter. <laughs> Remember? That is true. Thompson, I don't think this is funny. On the contrary, Doctor, it is. We have a 12-year succession plan worked out for this state. And at no point did Angela Cello come as an option. Let's just pray that Peter recovers soon. They're having meetings without me. Making decisions that I'm not privy to. Good. Why don't you just talk to your father? No. That would only make it worse. No, he's a political juggernaut. You should just want them to back off. I'll think about it. Hello. Oh, hello, Chief Thompson. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, uh, that is true. My daughter has vowed to be governor when she grows. That's good. We need more women represented in politics. Absolutely. <laughs> you have been instrumental in advancing that cause. You have been an inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. Angela, I did not invite you here to hear praises on your head. I gathered as much, sir. You see? I told you. Smart as a whip, this one. And that's a top party. Thank you, sir. There's no problem. In fact, it is because uh, uh, to avoid problem, that's why we thought it right to have this chat. About what, sir? Peter. This unfortunate accident is causing too much wahala and threatening to spoil things. I'm sorry to hear about that, but I'm sure he'll be up and about here in no time. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Regrettably, as elders of the party, we have to consider uh, outcomes and scenarios. That is not to our liking. I understand that. In the unlikely event of Peter's demise, the party has taxed us to ensure a smooth succession so that our party will maintain domination of the political landscape. I understand. Okay. We want a signed resignation letter, which will only come into effect at the event of Peter's unlikely death. I don't understand. You see, Angela, it's like this. If Peter dies, you cannot become the governor of the state. It will upset the balance of power and alienate too many factions. Which might lead to the disintegration of the party. Why? See, Angela, political appointments are the result of skillful negotiations between various powerful factions within any political entity. What Dr. Jalo is inelegantly saying is that our party operates on the principle of compromise. I understand. Uh, for instance, the Primrose Group led by your father customarily gets the deputy governorship or the chief of staff. The governorship, on the other hand, customarily goes to uh, the Shining Light Group. Now, tell me. What do you think will happen if the governor suddenly emerges from the Primrose Group? I don't know. Chaos, Angela. Chaos. That is what will happen. And the balance of compromise will be torn apart. The Shining Light Group will just pull out of the party and we can wave our victory at the next elections. Bye-bye. We cannot afford to lose this state, Angela. Everything we have worked for, that you have fought for, God, just like that. Do you understand what we're saying, Angela? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. To be clear, in the event of Peter's untimely death, we will regretfully accept your resignation. You do realize that the current secretary to the state government will be governor if I resign. And don't worry, we'll cross that bridge and we'll get to it. Thank you for coming out so late. Our regards to your husband. I will. Yes. Oh, by the way, um, the party has put together a list of um, board appointments and contracts for you as compensation for your sacrifice and goodwill. Thank you.
next time on The Governor. I'm resigning. Why? I asked you to choose family, to choose me. You chose politics instead. It's for the good of my family. What did I do to make you so mad? It's for the good of the party. I would like to propose another toast to our governor in waiting. Friday below. When you say for the good of the party, you meant Dr. Jalo, Chief Thompson, Friday below. Friday below. Friday below. Yeah. Friday below wants to become governor. And if you resign, he will. I promise I will not fail you. Maybe they don't want our guys who make it out alive. What are you saying?